Hi everyone, Ann Lemons here. Today I want to talk about um, giving you some strategies in patching for stress eating. So stress eating is coming up a lot in my practice right now. Obviously it's the holidays, we're coming off a couple of years of high stress. So um, this is really prevalent right now. So for many of us, we turn to food for comfort. Right, and then we start eating food that we wouldn't normally uh, eat or eating too much of it or foods that are high in sugar and then we feel really terrible afterwards. So um, if we're looking to manage cravings and stuff from stress eating, we can approach this a few different ways. So first we have to understand that this is not a matter of willpower, um, but it's understanding what's happening in our bodies physiologically, psychologically, behaviorally, and hormonally. So when we stress eat, what we're doing is we are creating um, dopamine in the brain. We're stimulating the re release of dopamine, um, which makes us feel good. But we have to um, sort of retrain the brain around this behavior, but also tend to some of the physiological fundamentals that contribute to stress eating. So let's talk a little bit more about the fundamentals. So what we need to do is balance our blood sugar, right? So we need to eat meals that have ample protein, fat and fiber. Um, then we're not gonna experience those sugar dips, the dips in um, glucose in the bloodstream that will make us want to eat more, right? Um, we wanna eat breakfast. So this is not the time to, I'm telling my patients now, don't start an intermittent fasting um, type diet when you're under high stress and you need a lot of energy to get through your day. You need nutrient dense meals. Um, you know, maybe that's something to consider after the holidays, but right now you do need to eat breakfast to keep those blood sugar um, levels stable. Uh, eat healthy or keep healthy snacks visible. So uh, there are many um, opportunities to get ready-made cut up vegetables in the grocery store, or you can cut them up yourself, celery, carrots, cukes, um, peppers, just have them visible and on hand, fruit on the counter. So you've got things that you know you can grab and then pair those with some fat and protein like a bean dip or guac or um, guacamole. And then plan ahead, eat before the party. I can't tell you how many people have told me, um, I went to the party, I was starving, I ate a ton of appetizers that made me really sick afterwards. So plan ahead, eat before the party, bring the foods that you know that you can eat that make you feel good. Um, another thing would be to stay really hydrated because hunger is often disguised as uh, dehydration. So keeping your water, water bottle really visible and uh, drinking that all day is really helpful to manage cravings. And then I would say getting enough sleep. So sleep is really paramount. When we don't sleep well, it throws off all of our hormones. So it decreases our satiety hormones, it increases our hunger hormones, it increases cortisol, it decreases insulin sensitivity. So we really need to be getting um, good quality sleep, getting in bed by 10 o'clock if, if at all possible. Now I have some new uh, sort of biohacks um, that support the body hormonally and neurochemically to manage cravings. Um, you've heard me talk about the LifeWay patches before. Um, these are patches that uh, do not have medications in them. Um, they look very, you know, they're about the size of a, of a quarter. They look like this. You put them on your body and the heat that's reflected from your body is um, then directed back in. The patches help to redirect that heat and that light back into the body on specific acupuncture points to make a biochemical uh, change in the body. So what I am suggesting for people that are really struggling with managing um, cravings is to be thinking about this holistically in terms of how are you managing your stress? We have to manage stress to be able to um, manage the cravings as well. And this particular one, Eon, is amazing for helping to manage stress. Um, what this does is it turns the stress response up very quickly. It turns us from a sympathetic fight or flight into rest and digest, activates that vagus nerve. So we can calm down and help us to not be, you know, reaching for things that we're, um, that we don't want to be eating 
um, because we're so stressed. So Eon is a really great addition for people that are um, needing to manage their uh, cravings a little bit more. The next one would be Nirvana. So Nirvana is amazing because it boosts the production of our beta endorphins. So these are our happy brain chemicals. Um, they are very, very balancing to both the nervous system and the hormonal system. And then I would also say SP6. So this one actually, SP6 was made for cravings, specifically um, studied for cravings. Um, it helps to regulate our hormones. It has an effect on the hypothalamus, which is inside the brain. This is our master controller of our hormones. And then lastly, I would say um, silent nights, which are these. So when we're talking about getting good quality sleep, so hunger and cravings are managed better. If you're not getting good quality sleep, then this would be something to consider. I've had phenomenal success with Silent Night. Um, there's another one for sleep as well, but this one is really good for getting good quality sleep and it's helping people to actually start dreaming again, um, which is amazing. So we have some fundamentals for managing cravings. We can work more on balancing blood sugar, eating breakfast, having healthy snacks available, eating before we go to gatherings, staying hydrated, managing our stress and getting better quality sleep. So we can also bring in some of the LifeWave patches to help with this. Those would be the Eon, the SP6, the Silent Night, and the Nirvana to help us manage cravings, lower stress, get better sleep and balance hormones. If this is something that you're interested in or you'd like more information on, please feel free to DM me. I'm happy to send you anything that you um, would like more information on, or you can uh, click on the link in my bio if you'd like to experience these yourself. All right, everyone, happy holidays, stay safe and healthy, and until next time.